Here's how a representative from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission responded when California Senator Barbara Boxer asked him how many people live near that nuclear facility. I'm asking you, do you know how many people live within 50 miles of San Onofre Nuclear Power Plant? I, I do not know. Well, I'm going to tell you how many people. 7.4 million people. And we have a state report, we have a state report that says to us that the NRC has not looked at their recommendations, the California Energy Commission, that they sent. And this was what year did they send us? 2008. Joining me now, the chair of the Committee on Environment and Public Works, California Senator Barbara Boxer. Thanks for joining us tonight, Senator. Very happy to be on your show, Lawrence. Uh, Senator, as you know, full disclosure requires that I reveal that I was once the chief of staff of yes. the uh, Democratic staff on that committee that you are now yes. uh, chair of. Uh, were you satisfied with the testimony you got today about the uh, NRC's understanding of the situation at the California plants? I was not. I, I felt that when it came to Japan, they seemed, you know, really involved and helping the Japanese people and working with them, and I was very proud of that. But when it came to understanding the situation here at home and taking any lessons away from what has happened, not complicated lessons, easy lessons, like we have to make sure that we reinspect plants that have that same technology. There's about 23 reactors. We have to look at, again, the 50 or so plants that are old, that were licensed before 1980. We need to immediately look at uh, plants like ours, uh, Senator Feinstein's uh, in my state, where, by the way, the two of us have teamed up to demand that there be a re-inspection of both of our plants. We are talking about something quite simple because it's not complicated to understand that in Japan, they plan for a 7.5 earthquake and they got a 9.0. And we have warnings in California near San Onofre from our state. By the way, a Republican state senator took this issue on, and Republican Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger sent a letter to the NRC and said, look, we feel for sure from the scientists telling us that there could be much worse earthquake activity at San Onofre. And at our other plant, Diablo, they said there were new faults discovered. And we need to look at this. By the way, they're relicensing those plants as we speak and are not looking at this report. So I, you can see from the way I was at the hearing, I am disturbed about this. Senator, uh, in order to relicense those plants, what do you think is the responsible approach, including uh, not just evaluating the earthquake risk, but the evacuation plans that the regions would have to have, especially at San Onofre, where there is such a huge population around it with very limited uh, freeway access out of that region. I mean, I, I have never seen a plan that indicates that it's actually possible to evacuate that region if necessary under the worst circumstances. Well, it's, it's exceedingly difficult. I mean, my state is beautiful. There's 7.4 million people that live within 50 miles of that plant. And here's the thing, and I think it's important to note, it's the American NRC, Nuclear Regulatory Commission, that is saying to our American citizens in Japan, get beyond 50 miles away from this uh, accident. So if they're saying that in Japan, that means we need better plans. We do not have plans that are adequate. And that's something that uh, we had a very important witness uh, today say that he believed it was very important to take a look at those plans. Um, look, Lawrence, again, the attitude seems to be, uh, let's wait until we know everything before we do anything here. And my view is my state's been on top of this since 2008. They've given you data. And in light of what has just happened, we need to look again. Our areas could get tsunamis. Uh, they're not expected, but they could happen. And we know that. 
and to be very little warning in, in Northern California. And by the way, I don't know if you're aware, you probably know this, that about five of my counties are, had real problems in their harbors and they're, we're declaring emergencies in those to, to fix up those harbors from this tsunami in Japan. Senator, I live in a tsunami zone in California where there are actual signs by the side of the road telling you exactly where you cross the line into the tsunami zone. And, and so it is a real factor for, for people and for visitors. Uh, would, would Diablo Canyon uh, be licensed today if it was a startup uh, proposition? I mean, it has obviously it has this momentum of having been in place uh, so that relicensing mm -hmm. is an awful lot easier hurdle to clear than the original licensing, but actually building right on a major fault. Uh, is that something that anyone would reasonably go forward with again today? Absolutely not. I don't even think John Boehner would. And by the way, I've been to France. He says, you know, France is great. He doesn't understand what the French government government pays to protect those plants, and particularly their reprocessing plant. I visited their reprocessing plant. It's like going into a military base. So the government is very involved, and John Boehner doesn't want to spend any more money, so I think he ought to check that out, um, you know, with the French government. But no, they, the question, I don't think they would in any way license uh, uh, any plants that are on or near seismic activity. California Senator Barbara Boxer, Chair of the Environment and Public Works Committee, thank you for your expertise Thanks. tonight, Senator. Thanks.